What's going on, YouTubers, sneakerheads? E for Days 23 here with another shoe unboxing review. You see what it is already. Um, big package situation, so what I did is I took one out and we'll do a review on one of them and then I'll do the rest of this joint. Big one out here later on uh, touching other subjects other models etc see what it is Patrick Ewing okay I haven't looked at them or nothing already have these though and I'll tell you about the bad experience I had with these as well Patrick Ewing's 33 highs Viking Reds 10 and a half US 9 and a half UK Okay. Nice, nice large box. Both sides. I guess retail their box price on these joints are one hundred and eighty-two dollars. Okay. Did a few deals with this particular seller, so good look. Receipt, always need the receipt. Okay. PEs, 33 highs, bike and reds. This is my favorite newest shoe. Inside, paper. Mr. Ewing, 33, and him dunking just like on the box. Let's see, other pair, right here. Box. Like any box, you have manufacturing number. Once again, I say that a lot. That's just uh, size of the box, type of number, you know, etc. Uh, besides that, you have this. That's your eco friendly, I think, recycling blue little sticker. And I believe the QC is right there. Okay, so that's the box. Jump off. And these are the shoes. These are the all burgundy, blood burgundy. All suede, white midsoles, gum bottoms right off the back. That crazy Ewing embroidered stitched beautifully 3D with the ankle support with the 33 ridiculous shoe. If you like to show off your shoe, you don't need to do anything extra with your pants. These will do all the work for you. Once again, my new beautiful, my new beautiful, my newest favorite shoe. At least something new. My newest joint. Newings. I love that they retro these. I love that they're available, whatever you want to call it. Okay, the shoe comes with Patrick Ewing little pamphlet. The PE hang tag basketball. Patrick Ewing on one side. 33 on the other. MJ's center nemesis. Nemesis. You can never really, you know, get them out of there though. But, you know what it is. Uh, the story behind these joints. I'll give it to you guys. The left shoe. We're looking at the left side. Patrick Ewing. Let me close up. Okay. Me trying to be slick, y'all. I tried to, I tried to get uh, three pairs for like one nineteen, one twenty nine, I think. Um, anyways, long story short, um, got scammed, fakes. And that's that. Uh, copped a bunch, a bunch, a few pairs, a couple pairs off the Patrick Ewing website, great site for the Ewing uh, shoe collections. <clears throat> Obviously, some of the real limited models um, not available some of the other ones I wanted didn't have my size so what do we sneak heads and big heavy collector shoes guys do we do what we do right 
So that's what I did. And I've been doing it. I got another package coming from this same company. And there's more in there. So um, we'll get to that. Um, as far as the shoe. This is the, uh, as far as the color. This is suede. Yeezy 2 suede. That's the best way I can put it for everybody that can relate. For one of the easiest, newest shoes. The Yeezy 2 type suede. That very top quality suede brush darker brush lighter all that yeah blood red burgundy suede um, as far as the shoe these are the Ewing's 33 hides 33 hides biking red uh, black white really not much black besides Patrick Ewing's signature all the time let me give you some of the specs on this Okay, and I'll start from the toe box up. Toe reinforcement. Keep in mind, the whole midsole on this is all white, so it's hard to distinguish everything that they have going on. Okay, uh, toe reinforcement. Basically, it, it means the second part is divided by the stitching. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, Vented coolness, they call it. Uh, we know what that is. Just your perspiration. Holes, yes, on the suede. See if you can see it. There are your perspiration dots, niblets, specks on the suede. Okay, perspiration, uh, vented for coolness, PVC eyelids, PVC eyelids, the eyelids are burgundy, PVC eyelids, meaning that's just the plating on the alloy, on the metal PVC, lace locks, here are your lace locks right there, Patrick Ewing, engraved and embroidered, stitched up in white over the burgundy on the left side, this is the left shoe. Okay, the eyelids, lace locks, heavily padded PU tongue with reflective. Okay, heavily padded PU tongue. So this is all reflective, it's going to snap and pop off Jordan 5 style. Everything on this shoe is super extra padded, super double comforted, super supported on arch angles, heel toe toe box, you name it. Love it. Um, if anybody knows what the PU stands for, I'm, I'm thinking uh, protective uh, unit for the tongue or um, padded unit. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, unless I'm, I just got off of work. Unless I'm, you know, zoned out and then I'll put it up when I know what it is. But um, we have a uh, leather and synthetic and textile upper lining and sock textile outsole PU and rubber. Okay, for this situation, look at this alone, and I'll get to that. That's the, that's the tongue right there. We have the collar reinforcement, which is right here. This is that same material right here that you're going to have on the tongue up in here and this is not like mesh this is like the other side of the suede if you can hear it very smooth it also looks like darker and lighter okay that's what that is I'll move that up uh, collar reinforcement right here what they mean there's a lot of little specks you see that uh, from here to there collar reinforcement and then of course your convertible front and rear fastener strap with the elastic mesh so yes it is a front and rear I know 
um, for the people that haven't caught, um, which is seen advertising or you know showing the kicks. They you know they've been displayed like this because they're these are hard. These are heat. But um, they it is a 360 movement. As far as this, you can't take you can't take it out. Come 360 other side, and you can't go to the front with it. No problem. Okay, me personally, nah. I like that whole thing on the back. I do that to my shoes that have straps anyways and I, I do them on the back myself uh, I like the way that looks the whole feel of that tatteredness and protection this is how Patrick Ewing did them anyways keep in mind he's a very very big guy so there's a lot of support extra stability look at this inner lining sock extra ankle support it's like a whole nother shoe in here okay but anyways get back to that now you've seen that and then you have your uh, Achilles relief uh, which is right here and I have to lift it up for you to see it this is the, what they're calling the Achilles relief right here this part Achilles that's where your Achilles uh, bone ligament is at for you guys that don't know um, you know Greek uh, theology or the movie Troy Achilles named him Achilles because um, when he got killed, you know, he was shot with that arrow right on Achilles, on his ankle. So that's the Achilles protection and extra support right there. On um, this beautiful, beautiful material. Okay, some of the technical aspects of what they're calling all this. The heel stabilizer is right here. And I'll get to this later into the video so you guys can see it because it's something, there's a lot of technology just going on inside the shoe that on this specific model you really can't see on the outside because it's basically two colors and the gun bottom of course but um that's the heel stabilizer which is on this side extra heel support um these three lines right here that's where the extra heel support is on the back they did the whole midsole all white same with this part right here so it's hard to distinguish, you know, certain parts for from others as far as what they got going on. But um, it's definitely uh, crazy and really 100 all the way official. Uh, the extra heel support showed you guys just now, uh, and the motion control support, which comes from here to here. And you're not going to be able to see it on the shoe because it's an inside situation. Uh, you know what I mean? Same like on this side, you can see this one better heel support but then on this side it's hard to to kind of uh, make that out for you guys um, as far as the motion control support which is supposed to be right here coming up to the top and then the high abrasion rubber outsole with pivot point all that means is this part on the pivot point, high abrasion rubber right there. He, you know, this is a real basketball center shoot. Beautiful gum bottom. Okay, Patrick Ewing around the basketball in that olive color. Ewing right here. The rest all gum bottom. Beautifully, you can see. Um, the shoe is incredible. I just gave you all the technical specs from Patrick Ewing's shoe company slash fila uh, and it's all right there um, I could have went just did my, my own little explanation which I uh, would have liked it better but now I wanted to give you guys the little snippet uh, from the pamphlet um this basketball shoe was designed in 1989 okay so we're talking about real OG stuff right here y'all this basketball shoe was designed in 1989 with the assistance of Patrick Ewan and meet the exacting requirements of professional basketball the finest materials available has been selected to ensure that all comfort comfort and performance features are maintained for the life of the shoe it's not a joke man this is not a joke this is this is this is this is heat this is 100 okay this is not a joke kind of like uh jordan by way of nike 
Yeah, Patrick Ewing by way of Fila. Don't forget that neither. Okay, Italian designer Fila. I've always been heavy as far as Fila velour suits and some of their old school shoes. Uh, so this is definitely a good look. One of my, my new favorite shoes. Um, this is my second favorite colorway uh, or I guess model design you could say. But um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, I love it. Everything's ridiculous. I got a pair. Um, they fit comfortable. They wear incredible. They look incredible if you like that chunky feel, you know, kind of show off your shoe without having to do any extra tucking, pants, or anything like that. Uh, light wash, maybe you can get an idea. And yeah, not probably not. You know what I mean? Joggers, shorts, like it's three months piss eggs, but you know, these are definitely heat 100. Um, as far as on my scale of 1 to 10, I can't fortunately give these a flawless um, 10 out of 10, um, which I wanted to. But once again, looking at them, just like the other pair, um, if you guys notice, on the midsole white, and then the gum bottom, the lineup. I don't know what's up, why with this model. It's it's not it's not official, man. It's not official. Even on the pictures and photos on the website, it looks like this. You know, I know some of you youngsters could probably take care of this in 10 minutes or so, but I don't want to doctor up any shoes or paint or anything like that. But 9 out of 10. Besides that, it's a flawless and beautiful shoe. I'll give you a 360 shot. That back is just heat. It just kill it, man. For sure, man. This this thing is, and the and the quality, man. This is premium. I know this is Italian suede. Toe box. Look at that. Flawless. Look at the inner ankle protector. Got these lines on it, on this material, so you know what that does, that gives you that. Yeah, that gives you that lighting effect of the color that braises through left and right or whatever, you know, sign. Same mar maroon laces. You got this beautiful material, like a suede mesh, like uh, the other side of the suede. Oh, the tongue, rubber, reflective, inside, I'll get to the ticket, Patrick Ewing inside, signature, see it reflecting from here, I don't really do too much as far as uh, taking out the soles and stuff like that, unless it's a shoe that we really need to check on something, or you know, really see something, uh, but um, there's not much going on besides being at this crazy color blue, with the PE on the inside, and that's it. The other pair is the same. Um, these are 100% genuine, 100% heat, but unfortunately I can't give them a 10 out of 10 on flawlessness. How I rate the shoes on my videos on this channel and you guys will get to know that. So uh, keep in mind, how I rate the shoes, I don't rate the shoe if this is my style of shoe, or I like the shoe, or it's my favorite color. I rate the shoe on a brand new genuine shoe from the manufacturer. Definitely a must cop for me. Leave your comments. Please sub up, share, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> Anybody copped? Anybody got them? Anybody got bamboozled like I did with fakes? Um, any different situations as far as switching laces up? Any custom movements going on? Let me know. Lace locks on these? I don't know. I kind of like the way they are, and I'll get to the other models you guys will see. Um, let's uh, take a look at the ticket, or the snatch as I call it. Old school sneaker heads. There you have it. See that quality once again. This is ridiculous. Comfort, super flawless. Look feel, performance, super flawless.
crazy heat, y'all. Crazy heat. Patrick Ewing, that's the only black really Patrick Ewing signature on there. Everything else is blood red maroon, basically a deep maroon with your gum bottom crazy with the white midsole, but there's a lot going on uh, once again. Ankle uh, protections, extra support, heel support, uh, you name it, ventilation, they call, you know, perspiration holes, uh, the 33 to back joint is just crazy. It makes the shoe. We'll be glad these are retro or available now. 1989, made to perfection. I read it to you guys. That's straight from them. Once again, this is a quality shoe. Like a lot of shoes that wore in 1989 or 1991, but back in those days they kind of kind of got passed up for what was really really popular. Now what's popular? It's really what you like and what's heat. There's some British Knights being sold for 190 right now. British Knights was what my moms and pops would buy me when you know I couldn't afford to do my own thing as far as a hundred dollar, hundred and twenty dollar shoes. But anyways, ooh, Patrick Ewing's 33 high bike and red review. He for days do trade. Beautiful shoe. Give you the 360. One on top of the other. And of course this is out of place because I laced, you know what I mean? That Ewing embroidered right there, stitching, it's, everything is perfect, flawless. Both shoes, besides the lineup on the white, on that gum bottom, everything is flawless. Love it. My new favorite shoe. Second favorite as far as the colorway situation. And I'll show you guys my favorite videos and a lot of limited edition ones. Really like these. These are heat. What else? I'm sure I'm not missing anything. Um, ticket to snatch, the insole, everything outside, the bottoms, yeah. Uh, box price, or I guess retail, uh, 182, 179 and change, I believe. Um, oh, my suggestion, I kind of got burnt. Um, stay away from those 119, 120s. That's why I got three pairs of fakes. Uh, now keep in mind, good deals are always out there. You guys know how to go about it, uh, meaning deal with a legitimate company, legitimate seller, receipt, you know what I mean, the right way, pay with proper payment forms, and you'll be all right. I was just trying to be slick and get four pairs, thinking I'm going to get them for each one for 110, 19 or something, and that's what I get for trying to be slick, uh, you know. But after that, Patrick Ewing website, check them out. Uh, not just the 33 highs or some other models, but 33 highs are my favorite as of right now. Um, couldn't get everything I wanted from there. Um, limited joints, correct size, things like that. So you know what we do. We make it happen, pay more, you name it. Um, true to size. True to size, um, I'm a size 10, 10 and a half, depending on what shoe it is, really. There are um, a lot of J's that um, I wear a 10, and then in some other ones I'll wear a 10 and a half, depending on the shoe. Uh, on threes, I can wear tens, perfect, or ten and a halves. On like sixes, unless I'm doing like you know padding. Uh, on sixes, I you know I to rock. Um, I probably you know put tens on my feet. Kind of give me an example. These true to size. Uh, I'm cool with these at a ten and a ten and a half. And on the next video about these, we'll kind of do that ten and a half versus ten comparison. But definitely true to size the most comfortable shoe I have ever put my foot in and walked around in, hands down. Okay, <clears throat> right alongside with a couple of Jordans. And that's my honest personal opinion. Don't nobody kill me. I'm serious. This is not, this is the way these are manufactured. is ridiculous. Light wash jeans, white tee, Stussy Maroon, Stussy Maroon hat, Mitchell and Ness, Nothing, light jewels, heavy jewels, joggers, sweats, of course, fila, any fila type of situation. Clothing goes with it because you know what this is. This is fila, you know, Patrick Ewing uh, coming from that route. If you guys understand what I'm saying, once again, uh, you know what I mean. So, this is top of the line 
merchandise. This is a top of the line premium shoe, premium suede. I know this is Italian suede because it once again comes from Fila. On this side you can see that protector, that uh, support a lot better right there from the outside. These are crazy. My new favorite joints, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Comments, review, copped, din, um, custom touch-ups, other colors, good prices, bad prices, and also a uh, conversation and comments um, on Facebook page. Got heat on my feet um, about saying, oh, I wouldn't pay $475 for $180 from Patrick Ewing shoes. Hey, look. Everybody has their own opinion, champ. Uh, me personally, hey, I think it's worth it for some things. Not these. These are like 220 or something. Um, you know, there's people paying more than that for things that I wouldn't pay half of it. So it is what it is. Um, these are a must-have if you're a heavy sneakerhead. If you like basketball. If you like heat, if you like tight shoes, I'll get real simple with it. A must. Try to get some photos, slideshow style for you guys on the feet. Once again, you can see this. Look at that. You know how this is. You know how this look. You guys that have them, you guys that copped them or going to look at them. You name it. You know what this is. You know what style shoe this is like. And this is the maroon, that blood red biking. Red, they call it. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite, like Air Force One style, all white leather joints, tumbled up, the whole nine gum bottom, crazy. But you know what this is like. This is heat, my opinion. Yeah, dope, flawless. Nine out of ten. If it wasn't for that lining, once again, like my barber, give my money back, taper me up, line me up, all wrong. If it wasn't for that. And this model, they, so far they're all touched up like that. I don't get it. Why that? I don't know. Otherwise, I'd be a 10 out of 10 on these because from what I'm seeing, everything is the same as the other pair that I've been wearing. Uh, flawless. You know, all the way official. Besides them little touch-ups around the midsole, white, the paint with that gum bottom. You know? Hangball, once again. And uh, yeah, that's it. He for days 23. Review on the Patrick Ewing Red Vikings 33 highs. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Once again, sub up, leave your comments, let me know what you guys think, and we'll get more in depth. Look at that once again. One hundred guys.